just went out there and gave it all. Walking off the field, Coach Johnson said, just like four years ago, it took, came down to a defensive lineman making a play. How how much do you guys, you know, know that that's on you, and how do you handle that sort of pressure? Um, I feel like we handle it well. We don't really take it as, oh man, so much pressure. We have to make a play. We have to do this. We just know that it all starts with the D line. You know, we starts the defensive line wins the football games. And the, in the front, offensive line, defensive line, we won the game, and we knew that if it was going to come down to something that we had to, we had to be the ones to make the play. You, you guys gave up some big plays, the 93-yard touchdown, McSorley had the 50-yard scramble, but yet you still found a way. You, you shut them down when you needed to. What does that say? That like you know maybe you get burned a couple times, but you yeah, come back. I think it just shows how tough our team is. That no matter how many, no matter how many plays they run, no matter good plays they run, we always go back to the sideline with the same mentality that we can win this, we can do this, we work for this, we train for this, and just keep going out there, and keeping keeping the faith, keeping the energy. What was the sense on the sideline, down 12 with eight minutes to go in this game? Uh, I know the sense on the sideline for me personally was getting my guys going that we still have a whole bunch of football left to play, that don't get down to yourselves. I was talking to uh, a couple of my guys on my defense personally just saying that this game isn't over. We have a lot of football to play. We have to go out there and just take every down as it is. A lot of people expected a blowout, or not a blowout, a shootout. Were you guys talking about that during the week? No, I wouldn't say so. Now, um, Coach Myers said in the first half, you guys, the defense pretty much saved the day. What, what does that feel like to uh, just have that kind of role and have that kind of impact on a game that could have gotten out of hand? Um, well, you know the saying, defense wins championships. So every time something would go wrong or anything would happen on offense or whatever it was, we knew the defense would have to step up. And I guess feeling a part of that and being a part of that is just understanding and taking on that big role. So. I mean, you guys, uh, the, the defense has given up a 93-yard touchdown two of the last three weeks. It's the longest play it's ever been given up by Ohio State. How do you guys, how do you guys mentally come back from that after that sort of breakdown and, and a number of third and long conversions by McSorley? And I mean, we're tough. You know, our mentality is tough, and even though that plays happen and people break out, I mean, that's the game of football. If people, there's going to be mistakes. You can't play a perfect game. I mean, there's going to be big plays and everything, but. It's just rallying together as a team, as a unit, and realize that we have to get the job done and just do better. John, to get this win the way you guys did without a guy like Nick and to dominate the, the way you guys did on the defensive line, especially with Chase's uh, tackle to end the game, just what, what kind of statement do you feel like you guys made on the defensive line today without your best player? Uh, I feel like the statement we made was that no matter, no matter if Nick's down, Draymond's down, no matter who's down, next man up, and as long as we go out there and play and do what we have to do, then there's no, there's no stepping back. It's just the deepest line to step up as a unit. I feel like we proved that today. John, what did that say about 